Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about love. And what does love uh, mean according to the Bible? Um, because love, according to so many people, is just driven um, mostly by emotion and a feeling. Um, they always say, use your heart. Um, you know, love wins and things of that nature. And, uh, you know, people describe love as just, you know, really an emotion. Uh, um, a heartfelt emotion. Um, uh, some type of compassion. Um, but really, according to the Bible, love is is a is a way of expressing yourself. All right, it's it's a way of order. All right, it's a way of life, and it's a lifestyle. Love is a lifestyle, and uh, the lifestyle is uh, to obey the Lord. That's how you love. Um, you know, you love somebody, you know, you, it's going to be proven. It's going to show in your actions. And um, if you love the Lord, it's going to show with how you live. And if you don't live according to God's word, you don't love God. And you don't love at all. Um... So that's the thing. So the Bible describes to you what love is, and it gives you the, the description of what it is. It's just a matter of will you obey or disobey? All right. This is 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. All right. So there goes what the love of God is. That's the love of God. All right. That we keep his commandments. All right. That is the love of God. All right. You have to show him that you love him by obeying. If you love the Lord, you'll obey. Simple. All right. This is John 15 and 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Another thing that you have to show, another way of love, all right, is to lay down your life for your friends. And Yahweh Shai, in the Bible, has described the elect as his friends. All right, and did not Yahweh Shai uh, sacrifice himself for the sins of all Israel? All right, but the elect are the ones who are going to cash in. All right, that um, you know, what I'm saying that that lottery ticket that the Lord have given those that have received mercy like we're gonna get a white stone okay and a white stone is a representation of mercy all right because in Rome if you got a white stone it meant that you got mercy. It meant that you were let off, all right, from anything that you may be a, a, accused of in 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 in, uh, in in the courts, 
All right, you go to court and you get a white stone, you made it. You get a black stone, you're done. You're guilty, you know? So basically, the elect are going to get those white stones. And they're going to cash in by getting the kingdom of heaven and inheriting the whole earth as first round draft picks, as the first fruits. Now, as the two thirds, they will come through the kingdom through the elect by childbearing through the seed of the elect. All right of the 12 tribes of Israel. So in order for you to get salvation, you gotta show that you love the Lord, all right? Otherwise, you're gonna be like those two thirds who are not gonna inherit the kingdom on the first go round, okay? They're gonna make it because the Bible says that all Israel shall be saved, but they're gonna have to go through a lot of uh, tribulation and death and suffering to get to the kingdom. <clears throat> but they're going to be purified through that fire. All right? So you want to be able to love God so you can avoid that. All right? Otherwise, you're going to get that punishment. All right? Um, I'm going to go with uh, John 15, 15. It says... Hitch forth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord uh, doeth, but I call you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So the Lord considered us friends, man, and he laid down his life for us, all right? So how much more us? Because if we want to be friends, we have to do the same. All right? This is uh, Philip's, uh, Philippians 1 and 29. It says, for unto, for unto you it is given in the behalf of Hamashiach, not, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. All right. So the Lord suffered for our sakes. We're going to suffer for his man. All right. Because the Bible says the servant is not greater than his master. So we're going to suffer for him. Just like he suffered for us. That is love. The Bible says through much tribulation. We shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right. So it's going to be. Um some tribulation that goes down but at the end of the day that's just a part of the job all right we just we just dealing with uh what comes with the job that's all all right so what comes with the job is to suffer all right it's that simple but you have to prove that you love the lord and you're going to get your chance all right when it's all said and done because Everybody's going to have to suffer for something. All right. We're suffering right now. Brothers are going through uh, hell right now. Brother just got shot, man. All right. It's a brother locked up for fucking child support, man. Fucking child support. Come on, man. Jake, you know, brothers losing their kids, man. You know. Goddamn nigga woman out here being adulterous. And you want to put these niggas to death, but you can't, you know, the Lord's going to avenge us, man. We just got to be patient. All right. This is Romans uh, 8 and 18 it says, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that which shall be re revealed in us. All right. So that's suffering that we're going through. As friends, you got to understand that the Lord has promised us the kingdom of heaven. So going through this, it is what it is. But it's worth it when you love the Lord. Because you understand that he is not slack concerning his promise. He's going to give us 
what we've earned. See, we're going to earn our keep, right? Even though we deserve, you know, you know, much more than we, you know, are going through. Because we have sinned, but at the end of the day, the Lord is going to give us, you know, everything that we desire. If we love him. So he's going to give you, a, give you the rope. And you can either hang yourself. Or you can swing yourself to safety. So it's up to you what you're going to do with that rope. All right. Truthfully. Because you're going to get your chance. You know what I mean? Can never say that you didn't make it because of the Lord. All right. It's uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but as long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And that's all Israel. All right, but we all know that the Lord is coming back for a remnant because not all Israel is going to repent. All right, so the Lord is, is coming back for his friends. All right, the ones that love him because his friends love him. All right, the Lord loved the church, man, and, and he's coming back for the, the part of the church that loved him back and coming back to destroy the ones that 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 didn't show love so you want to give repentance man you got to show love you got to show love man you got to show love to your brother you got to show love to the lord and you got to love yourself man all right all those things are connected to one another all right you gotta, you gotta love this truth all right so the Lord is going to remember his elect. He's never going to forget. All right? The Lord is never going to forget his elect. We're just working that we are part of that number. We put on as the elect. All right? To so show love so that we can get the hell up out of here. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.